So, hello and thank you for coming here for Artist Live Ustream show. Thank you Karen and Rick and Yasmin to having me here today, guesting. Uh, we are doing some scrapbooking and I'm a little bit excited or even more. I'm actually very excited, so let's get started. I will change the camera now. Uh, Ta -da -da. Here's my beautiful page. Um, I need to say about this photograph. Uh, it's um, last spring while the, we had mixed media party in Poland and it was such a nice weekend full of crafting and mixed media and everything and I really hope we are having uh, same kind of event next year in Poland too and here we are together uh, with the uh, projects we do di uh, we did during my class but today we are not doing any mixed media uh, canvases we are doing scrapbooking and let's start uh, usually well I'm starting with putting some clear gesso on the page but I'm not in that mood today so we are going straight to the stamping part. I'm using Kaiser. What I am saying? Create a smile stamps. I was thinking about Kaiser Crafts, but we are really <laughs> using Create a Smile uh, stamps. This is a botanical uh, flower set. I don't remember right the name, but it uh, it's in Facebook event page. Uh, they're in the products, so so this is a little German company, and I really love their stamps. Uh, I took the biggest one from the stamp set because I wanted to have something like this, but not exactly the same. You don't see me, really? Okay, let's wait a minute. Um, if you can hear me, then please um, update your window. I will wait a minute to get you on board again. So... That's strange, but sometimes it happens. I remember last week we actually had this same kind of problem while Rika had her show. Then I just... Hi Janice! Can you see me Janice? Can you get into me? I refresh. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, you might have to uh, put a full like if you have Google Chrome, put the whole thing off and then start again. That might help. Uh, Marta, can you hear me or see me? But it was... okay. Okay, Karen has to refresh again, so... I'm waiting just a minute. <laughs> I want to make sure that everyone everyone sees. Karen is using Safari and if you are using like Mozilla Firefox or something, just put the, um, shut it down and restart it. Maybe it will help. Because my screen is totally Okay, and I see the chat and I see everything, but I hope will you will see too. No, really? Okay. David just cut, cut me on screen. Marta, I hope you will have me on screen too. <laughs> oh. Should I put the broadcast off and start again? Hi Susan! Nice to have you here. So happy to have you all here. Okay, 
control F5 works. <laughs> so let's continue. Sorry about that. But please just say if you have some kind of problems and we will sort them out. So uh, I have archival ink in black and I just added it to my stamp and regular stamping. You know that uh, I'm doing three big flowers and I don't even mind that uh, the edges are not completely black because some parts of the flowers will be left left behind the photo so this is kind of mm, how to say it I'm not doing all the faces for my scrapbook layout just because of uh, the result some parts um, just because I want to do this uh, I will show you let's put this away I want to tell you what I'm actually meaning Hi Luciana Varnovsky. Hi Kat Martin. Okay, you got it work. Hey, uh, what I was saying about that I don't mind if they will be leave behind because I just want to do the work. I want to do the coloring, the stamping, all re very detailed and uh, I can put some time and effort to it. And I don't mind if that little detail here doesn't show. I just want to do the work. So, next phase is with mists. Da -da -da, we are using using Verde Nuts mists. Uh, I'm using the pearl mists. Uh, this is pearl pink, pearl green, pearl yellow. Hello, Ansku. Uh, I love to use the pearl uh, serious mist because uh, they had some sheen inside so I love all shiny things and glittery things and oopsie it went wrong immediately <laughs> okay I'm taking some baby wipe sorry about that noise it's my drawer well, I just wanted to have some yellow spot there. Just a minute. Yep. Um, what I'm starting to do is uh, to color my flowers. And as I'm using three mists, I'm also using three brushes because I don't want to mix the colors. Uh, this mist is, mist is almost completely empty. I should get another one, but I don't mind. That's my yellow. And then for the next one, just few drops because this mist has so much color inside and I want to do a um, kind of light layout so few drops will be enough. I'm using this mist just as watercolor because um, well I could use only watercolors or the rainbow colors from 30 knots but I want to use the mists just because I want to use them and I'm starting with the darkest one it might be the green one uh, and I want to add the green one here uh, this is basic coloring <laughs> you all have done this um, I'm not being too strict or too, too detailed about this one but I could be if I would like to but not today I'm not in that mood uh, the Create a Smile company, which uh, has this stamp set, they have a wonderful design thing, of course, because I was in it. Not anymore, but maybe later. Uh, they have this amazing style in their design team, and the owner, the Christine, the Christine, the Christine, yeah. Well, not with it, it's without the. Christine, the owner, <laughs> has such amazing style. She 
um, draws these stamps by her hand and she um, she has amazing eye for the coloring part so this is kind of embarrassing to do this uh, with her stamps but hey I have my style so next we are doing the same oh this was the yellow one um, we are doing the same same thing with another color first for the big areas and then to the detailed part you can do it in the other way but I like to do it this way and you can use water brush if you have one I have one too but it's stuck <laughs> because someone didn't clean it I don't know who there must be some kind of ghost in here so I'm just adding some this is the boring part of the show so you can just all relax and have some coffee or ice cream and something I will add the, all the colors to each flower but in different order this would be nice technique for cards for example or just if you want to leave it visible the whole flower and then we are having the I'm adding some water for this uh, pink one because the pink is so so strong and I really don't want to have that strong now let's add some there and then so the same result really comes with watercolors but then you don't have the pearl effect you might not see it now but uh, when you get to see the close-ups I will photograph this layout tomorrow when I have good lightning um, or good light not lightning anyway um, then you will see the pearl effect that this really shines a bit this mist mist I really can't talk today so try to hang on there and I'm not even following the chat so I don't get to see all your comments about how lousy talker I am today no that was a joke yeah and then we have green there so this must be red right can I do some mathematics I can um, my friend asked me today in English um, what do you do for a living I was like uh, I'm a PIM coordinator <laughs> what you what a PIM coordinator you mean what yeah I'm working as a truck um, in engineering office and that's something about building uh, information modeling which doesn't say anything to anyone but it was kind of funny because she gets some kind of weird thoughts about that bim 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 thing anyway let's go back to scrapbooking okay so you are doing some kind of uh, email changing in the chat okay I don't read that anymore so what I'm doing next is my circles you always need to have some circles in my layers and then these are still wet but I don't mind because they are not completely wet uh, I will find out where is my stencil my lovely lovely stencil from 30 nuts and then sorry I have to take my my spun sugar this is smooth shimmering dimensional paste from shimmers uh, I'm using this because this was from one of the previous um, hip kit club color kits um, and I want to use this because I really like the paste 
it has also some sheen inside and it's nice to have something in each month's kits what you can use uh, many times just like the stencils or mists or pastes or something like that and not just paper like in regular scrapbooking kit because you can have some kind of mixed media warehouse after being a few years <laughs> in uh, their subscriber yeah so lol lightning yeah I know I'm like that today so I just used some time to uh, color the stamped things but <laughs> right now I'm doing some pasting on top of them yep that's me so I'm not uh, covering the whole area and as you see it's with stencil so it will not be completely covered but I love love the triangles and the shimmer space so I'm adding some it's actually nice because if you color wrong the flower I don't know if you can do that but if you would do that you can always add something on top but that goes with any mixed media not just with this simply a simple layout it goes with everything if even if you are altering something you can always cover it up you can always do something about it if it goes wrong if you add some dark blue mist to somewhere you didn't want to put it you can always cover it up just wait until it's dry and then cover it up okay now I will leave this trying because I don't want to use heat gun today I hate heat guns today they are noisy today okay they are noisy each day anyway uh, the layout is trying let me wash my hands with little baby towers okay Someone is needing it desperately. I hope it means something else than what I'm thinking. No, I can't see that chat right now, but I would really love to. Okay, let's go to the picture. This is my lovely horse. She was sleeping on the field because she is quite sweetheart and the papers I'm going to use today this is from Hipkit Club I have used some already but I want to use the pink pink um, side today too this is exclusive from Hipkit Club and I'm using also another um, from the same collection exclusive uh, this is also from this is a scrap <laughs> I know but it's so so nice the paper I should order more uh, this is also from Hipkit Club uh, this was from Illustrate Illustra Fate did I say it right maybe and the cherry on top lovely Olga hi Olga designed this out of the blue collection for 30 nuts and this is the main paper I'm going to use because I love it it's green it has some uh, patterns here and there and it's just so wonderful oh there's another scrap too this is from color conspiracy it's I don't know how to say it but it's from France I don't know if I say it a country even right but I don't mind so let's start with the photographs uh, I'm doing a little frames for both of them why because I want and the actual answer for question why is because I want them to pop up I will put them 
kind of um, on top of each other so I really want to have this green from the pictures I don't know if it's um, if you can see it well from the screen now but tomorrow when I will photograph the layout you will see just how green this picture is uh, it was early summer this summer and the green um, the field is actually really green so it was such a pleasure to have this kind of picture and a lot that the horse didn't even see me before I was next to her she had her baby beauty sleep okay hello Rika you are so late and I will spank you so much in just a couple days when I'm going to see you because you were a dirty little girl came late to my show and I'm going to spank you it was a joke I know I have a such a weird sense of humor but shit happens okay I'm having some scraps here and I need some more scraps let's see I want so much this paper this is the best paper ever Olga should, should design more papers just like this then again it wouldn't be the same so I'm not taking like very strict measures but something and I'm using all the scraps I have because I love the color combo so much oh look you miss me but hey don't worry I miss you too and we will see each other very soon because Aida and Olga are coming to Finland next September we are having creative journey in next September here in Finland so everyone is welcome there we have some spots left and we are definitely definitely blah, blah, blah. definitely <laughs> doing the event and Olga and Aida are both uh, teaching two classes um, in two days and I'm really 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 excited about it so now I have some scraps and now I need to start building the layers uh, I need some kind of double-sided tape some kind of 3d foam this is from Kaisercraft and this is from local store Pildema and I will start building hey Aida hi I just I was just talking about you that you are coming to Finland in September and actually in September uh, 30 knots is all away in Europe because of course in Poland and in Germany because Olga lives in Germany but um, we have this event in Finland with 30 knots and then we are having me in Norway in September which is really nice I'm going to teach uh, three classes there uh, it's the first weekend of September and then we are also having Anna Rokalska from 30 knots team uh, teaching in Spain uh, I think that was the 17th and the 18th uh, September so that was a little advertising part but don't mind because everyone loves 30 knots and by everyone I mean me so yeah Anna is going to Spain I have my photos here and now we are going to get the background closer where are you my background come here I need you yeah 
Um, this is going to be in the same spread in my scrapbook album than the first page I made. And in the first page uh, the setting was just about here, in the upper left corner about. So as this going is going to be uh, spread in the album, I want this to be a kind of mirror effect for it. But as these pictures aren't even with the, each other, you know the same shape, I want to put them just about would it be good like this? Or this? No. This. Yeah. So, where is my tape? Tape, tape. Okay. Okay. I see something great news. Uh, okay, Ida is selling her products during our show, which is perfect thing to know. You can, <laughs> you can buy 30 nuts products from the show. No, it was just kidding. It's good to have uh, uh, this kind of event that you can talk straight to this store owner, like in this situation, you can talk to Ida. Anyway, now I have my photos here and I will do some kind of paper layering thing behind it. Let's see. I have so many little scraps and I want to have some kind of bigger ones. Yeah, like this. Just building it up with these gorgeous pink papers. Okay. Okay, Ida is packing the order already. See, we have such a good customer service. You can have that nowhere else. No one else is packing your order like two minutes after you have said something about it. So, I'm using a stapler again, <laughs> as I'm always using. And before adding more layers, I'm using this... Uh, I don't know if it's a doily or uh, lace. Anyway, this is from 30 Nuts. It's quite thick, so I like to add it between the layers instead of on top of anything because it's so thick, but also it's nice because it gives you some dimension uh, without using any 3D foam or anything like that. You can have it there, just peeking out like that. Now this is going to be here. Someone is laughing. Ah, it's nice to have people laughing. Yeah. Rika, are you already getting ready for the spanking thing on Thursday? Yeah, I'm sure she is. So, I was like putting this to the left side even though the camera is here. That's what happens when you have enough drugs in your blood. And by drugs, I mean medicines, not something else. Okay, so this is going to be like this. And you can see now the flowers are going to be covered <laughs> almost completely. So you might think, oh, okay, that all that coloring and stuff was like for nothing. But no, it wasn't for nothing, it was fun, and you can see parts of that, and that's important. The little parts are important, the details are important. So I'm doing some kind of little layering to the upper right corner of this 
paper collage and I want to add some little bit of the lace. Uh, in some point when you have done a lot of scrapbooking or any art you are doing, you might see that your style is changing. I don't know is change a good word or in in folding is that the right word anyway changing to better di direction or at least to the to the direction you want it to be uh, if I looked I actually saw few layouts I did last summer during the artist live show and they were quite much messier and I used a lot more of different medias on the page um, if I compare it to this page but I don't mind it because today this feels good and tomorrow something else might feel good like lots of medias and lots of colors and lots of everything but now only lots of I'm having on this layout is the paper layers because I want that um, I want to use a lot of paper I just have that kind of feeling you can't explain it more so I added some double-sided tape here and some thread for the background as I'm always doing and then I'm setting this is it what oh my god between crocs and her <laughs> I was kidding no I, I I don't know if I said it earlier but I fell down from the stairs today during my or in my uh, office building I fell down the stairs <laughs> and my uh, knee wa which was already um, hurt already injured is that the right word so um, I fell down and broke my knee so I have the sticks for walking now and I'm now just standing in one leg I should actually take a selfie with <laughs> this one because it's kind of hilarious I'm waiting for the surgery but I'm doing the show anyway so yes I'm on trucks but the many seen trucks and it's really funny to do this kind of show like in this time but you know that's me <laughs> I want to do the show even though I hurt my knee and I can't walk and yeah shit happens I think but back to the layout this is good therapy this is really good therapy for the soul and for the body you can actually forgot your almost broken knee uh, the, I don't know which which ri uh, word is right for the part was uh, broken it's not the uh, bone but between the bones okay I'm not talking any more about that no not there there no not there there no not there this is why you should use gel medium and talking about gel medium look look what size of jar we have gel medium and gesso from 13 arts look at the size it's 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 heavier than I'm going to be really, really, really dirty minded now, but it's heavier than my boobs. So, yeah, no more trucks for me. But back to the layout now. So, we have the paper layers and we have the background done and we have the photographs there. And now I lost my title. Where is my title? If I don't have my title, I'm lost. I'm here still. Okay. 
So, I found it. This is one of the exclusive stuff from Hipkit Club. Um, this is one in the million, which goes really well with the horse because uh, usually horses rise up before human gets close because they should do it like that. But that's my horse and we are similar, we are complicated, we have issues, we are <coughs> funny. Uh, someone asked if texture paste can come in this size also. I hope so. I really hope so. Because size doesn't matter. Bullshit either. Size does, ma does matter. And this big jar makes me so happy because it's so big. So, But if you thought about the boobs... Well, not, let's not go that. Okay, these are from Hipkit Lab. These are exclusive. And I just wanted to show you how fun these are. And this title was from one of these. Um, then I had some leftovers from the June kit. And I thought, why not to use this for this layout? Because I kind of love the fonts we have here, important, urgent, priority, note to self. Um, even though they are not matching to the team, but I like the font. You can always go with the font, just with the font. And I like the small size of these texts because they give such a nice detail for the layout. And, 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 and. Here and there. Again, I'm doing something on top of the flowers. Yeah, that happens, but it's nice. So one there, almost between the layers. And, of course, we need to, I'm not adding the title yet, um, but I'm adding lots of these little things that makes the difference. Uh, these are enamel dots from Create a Smile. Okay, I'm all <laughs> again going with the chat. So um, these are sparklets from Kaisercraft and these are rhinestones from Kaisercraft. And we have also liquid pearls from uh, Ranger and on cherry on top of the cake we have new glitter from the Nuts. These are black stars. I hope I don't spread them all all over to my layout, but these are like super tiny. Uh, you can actually see super tiny. Uh, you can. Uh, use glue or gel medium or something to adhere them or then just mix it with like gel medium and add it then but I will add them later uh, some kind of uh, knitting uh, stick would be good with this but I will start with other ones <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice, so I'm adding few big ones here and few smaller there. I'm so looking forward to read all the chat after the show, if I don't go to sleep. But then I will do some kind of screenshots from the chat and I will read it tomorrow. Anyway, I will read it. So if you want to write something bad, do it now. Because I will read it. Oops. So I will add the rhinestones, some biggers and some smallers. I'm usually doing it the way that uh, the biggers are like more close to the photograph and the smaller ones are uh, closer to the edge of the page because that kind of gets your attention to the right place 
and of course with this kind of uh, arrows or chevrons you can ask, ask the uh, viewers attention to the some place like if I put them here these arrows you will straight see this horse or if I put them here you will watch what's in that corner oh nothing and then you will pay attention to the photograph anyway I think we need some yellow up here some kind of tweezers would be good in this point but I have no focus for that kind of thing now and I can move them around a little later and as we have something yellow there that's enough or is it no we need something more and I'm using the liquid pearls just here and there to make sure we have enough details and all the girls love pearls even the horse yep I'm so looking forward to September because I want Ida and Olga to see my horses because the horses are as funny as me although I'm not that funny oh almost forgot we have the title and it's not glued let's do something with it should we have something like that yeah that looks good so I'm thinking of where is my double-sided tape again here it is so I'm adding okay this was too thick I'm cutting the right sides of this and adding some I'm, I'm going to be ready soon do I have to rush what are you starting to be scared Uh, are you scared about the horses, Olga? I hope not, because they are really kind and they will love you. Because everyone loves you. Everyone loves each other. Although that doesn't feel like that when you see the news. So, I'm adding one more layer of the 3d foam here and now i'm ready to glue down the title maybe i will put it there one in a million and it needs okay i'm putting some higher is it the right word higher 3d foam because this is like uh three millimeters thick thicker not higher anyway I want this title to really pop up from the page and that's why I'm using these and glue glue because I want to make sure everyone sees it I have this glue thing on my mouth that's why my speaking went weird so let's see one in a million goes here. She really is one in a million. So, what else do we need? Let's see the see the other one. Do you see what's missing? Because I do, but I'm not telling you what. If you know what that is. Ta-da! I think that's ready. So, what we learned today is that you can make a lot of things without any meaning. <laughs> I hope you learned something else too. Uh, I'm going to finish this, 
this layout with some mist drops and some ink drops because you can't can't have a page without drops. So I'm using again these 30 knots mists. This is the pearl green and I will not use the the uh, pink one because I have so many pink papers and I don't want this to be too pink. Uh, it's all about balance, right? Uh, this is splash ink from the Renats and I'm just thinking where is my my brush so I can add some. Uh, I'm using the nut brush head to get some and then flicking it. Just few black spots because you can always have some contrast in your page. Like that. Voila! So, thank you Aida. Yeah, I love the color combination too. It's kind, uh, kind of nice because it's, it's so cheerful and looks kind of summer. Um, I should get different colored animals because I don't like brown and my other horse is brown and my little dog is brown. So I need to have some more black animals or white. But it's not possible. Oh, I forgot this. I will add this. Uh, the easiest way to add this small confetti is to wet your pencil or knitting needle or something and then just take few and add it to some wet spot like this um, to the paste I uh, added before because no one will notice that it's on top of the paste but it's there and the paste is still just that wet that it will kind of glue this star confetti oh these are so wonderful thank you Ida for sending these I could actually eat them that wouldn't be healthy but then I would be a real dirty nuts girl because I eat dirty nuts. Okay, now it's time to go to sleep and stop crafting and stop everything and take some more uh, painkillers for the leg and make a horse of different <laughs> color. Okay, I, I really meant that no, I'm not coloring the horse, even though that would be a great idea, but they are not my horse, so... <laughs> so, okay. Now, please, just calm down. Terhi, calm down. Repaint! Yeah, that's the word. So, let's turn the camera. Hi, I'm still here, and still here so thank you all for coming and thank you for watching and thank you for hanging on here even though my sense of humor isn't the best today but again thank you for Rika and Keren and Jasmine for having me guesting here uh, next week I if I remember right we have Jasmine uh, doing the show and I will definitely come to the chat because I love it here and I wouldn't want to miss it for any price and Thank you for wishing me good luck for the surgery. I will need that uh, But thank you for the show and have a good night